Hi, I'm Michael Peterson and I'm here to introduce you to my book Boyfriends, which is a love letter to friendship, to the friends here, there and elsewhere. The friends we love to excess, yet still not nearly enough. And the little excerpt I'm going to read for you today is about how grief manifests itself in the body, something which takes hold of us when we lose the best friends that have punctuated our lively wee lives. Defying all science, grief feels its hottest when newly lit, before it's even started smoking, before the birds know to stop singing and be forever silent, before the embargo on mooting a date for the funeral's been lifted, before one of my friends knows not to throw a strop because I haven't got back to his invite for a camping trip that apparently needs the numbers, before any notion of talking in the past tense is fathomable, before Auden's poem, Stop, All the Clocks, could possibly be about you. It feels like a drug that's newly entered the body and will deliberately dawdle in making the rounds inside like a virus, the flesh bullying itself, my vital organs like two best friends who've for no real reason fallen out, yet on account of their hubris will never find a way back. Grief dissects us into our most helpless matter. My bones carry an unnatural weight in them, as if the marrow is turning to lead. My gait too is off, like that bike with a bent wheel that required me to cycle like hell just to make it to market less than two miles away. I am on the cusp of crying, ordering a cappuccino, but ask for chocolate sprinkles all the same, because that's what I used to do, although I've no idea why, because I've never had a sweet tooth. I am desperate for touch, then offended by the suggestion I find myself looking into my own eyes in every mirror I pass, eyes which have become bells that will not stop ringing until the jar cracks or the tongue falls out. Either way, it'll be over. It's been clumsy with meaning after having prided myself on exactitude where 140 characters seems a stretch. It feels like I've had my last useful idea and now I'm salvaging thoughts from the mulch. Time is standing still until it races by like a fox with a bird in its belly. Mostly, I feel exhausted, slow and eddying, heavier, whilst emptied of something I know will never be replenished that I will always resent living without. I am heartbroken and coarse, whilst acutely thankful for all the wonderful, wonderful people around me. I feel important and guilty about it.